हेलो हेलो हाँ गुड इवनिंग कंफर्म माय ऑडियोबल और नॉट एवरीवन एक्सेलरेट इंटर कॉन्सेप्ट कॉन्ट हियर सर एम आई ऑडियोबल मिस्टर एम आई ऑडियोबल प्लीज कंफर्म so that uh, we can start the session right now everything is fine good evening so those who have joined write something in chat box those who have already joined write something in chat box so that i can know your name and we, the session could be a uh, interactive okay okay uh kabilian kabilan okay good evening kabilan <clears throat> anyone else please try to make the session very interactive then only you will be able to enjoy the subject got it so i am only expecting you just write something on the chat box so that uh, i could be able to feel whom i am interacting with okay यार देखो देर इज नथिंग इन लाइफ जस्ट ट्राई टू बी इंटरक्टिव एंड इफ यू आर लाइक डेडिकेटली वर्किंग और यू आर डेडिकेटली स्टोरिंग फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर लाइक कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम देन यू शुड बी वेरी इंटरक्टिव एंड वेरी पैसिनेटेड अबाउट इट देन ओनली यू कैन डू समथिंग इन योर लाइफ ओके so let me tell you already i have uh, created a telegram group okay so once you will search that particular group in the name of okay in the name of global global underscore gate academy underscore gate csit you can find you can find so this is the telegram group telegram group okay so if you want you people can join uh sorry this is the telegram group that i have already created and almost uh, 20 students have been joined till now till now 20 students have been joined since uh, the like uh, gate preparation in english we have started first time in the global channel and that's why we are trying to add as uh, much as a student uh as possible okay so it is a slowest process it's not like ki i have created a group and in a one day i can make it 500 or 1000 got it everyone so let me write the correct name of that particular group so global gate academy csit okay global gate academy not gate or uh, just write only csit okay underscore cs underscore it so only type this and uh, at the beginning you can type t dot t dot me so this is the basic syntax for representing any group in in telegram so directly you can join through this group or uh, like through this link or what you can do you can just text me this is my telegram number this is my telegram number you can directly text me and i will add you 9264 okay 954515 so either you can text me directly then i will directly add you inside the group or you can directly join this is the public group uh till uh, seven days or at least for 15 days i have made this group public so that anybody can join okay 
so later on i will make it private and uh, we'll put some restrictions okay we'll put some restriction so this is my telegram group okay or you can say this is the telegram group for the like uh, gate aspirants who are comfortable in english okay so every updates you will get inside the group like the classes timing okay and uh, the question paper whenever we will try to share any question paper you are going to have that question paper in this particular group okay so may i know the name of rest of you those who have joined please uh, tell me your name don't be in mute condition okay try to say something whenever you are in a learning process please try to say something then only you can be very interactive and you can learn a lot of things see if you have a courage to ask something you can learn anything so always try to ask something and to ask something you have to communicate you have to communicate okay so as you wish uh, only two student accelerate and uh, kabilan has uh, sent me okay my name is sujan okay sujan sujan where are you from and kabilan you also where are you from you guys kabilan and uh, sujan kabilan tamil nadu fine most welcome sujan telangana fine combator okay fine 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 okay fine see see uh, as you can see the topic uh, that i am going to discuss today is the protocol and packets okay so my dear friends whenever we are using a term protocol see in the entire computer network in the entire computer network we basically talk about the protocols we basically talk about the protocols so can you tell me what can be the basic definition of protocol then i will explore what exactly the meaning of protocol inside the computer network see inside the computer network we always talk about the protocol either it is the data link layer network layer transport layer application layer or you can say the like presentation layer so in every layers we basically talk about the different different protocols okay so can you tell me what is the basic definition of protocol anyone whatever the answer is coming in your mind you can just share with me don't hesitate to say anything okay either it is right or wrong it hardly matter if you know something you can tell me not a problem at all because this is the learning process if you will say something then only we will able to rectify our answer yes or no everyone so please say something okay kabilan has a okay kabilan set of rules okay set of rules fine anyone else anyone else suzan whatever the answer is coming in your mind you can just uh, share with me don't hesitate okay you are not inside the classroom you are at your home okay so don't hesitate to say any answer because once you will do mistake you will learn something so not a problem at all either your answer will be right or it will be wrong 
if your answer is right then everything is fine if it is wrong we will run something now so try to say something suzan according to you what should be the basic definition of protocol It's a logic that knows to sender and receiver. Very good. Anyone else? Anyone else? Suzanne has also given his answer. It's a logic which is known by sender and receiver. Okay, fine. Any other answer? Because once I will start explaining these things with the help of example, you will enjoy the things. Honestly speaking. So, first of all, I just would like to know from your side, what is the basic meaning of protocols? Okay, fine, fine. See, 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 suppose, uh, just uh, take a real example. Suppose there are 100 students inside the classroom and I have claimed I have claimed to the outsider that uh, all the students in my classrooms are disciplined, are disciplined, okay. So all the students in my classrooms are disciplined, okay. So any one student means I have just uh, put in a restrictions or rule means if you want to sit, if you want to sit inside my classroom, you have to be a discipline, you have to be a discipline. So suppose there are 100 students and if any student is violating the condition that I have set, what I will do? Means I have allowed only those students who are following the particular discipline. Means no noise. Of course, once I will put the disciplines, then there will be a set of rules. That if you are entering in my class, you have to follow this rule. Anyone who is violating this rule will go outside the classroom. By force, what I will do? I will send him to outside the classroom means you are not able to study in my classroom because you are not following a rule so same thing is happening in a computer network see in a computer network there are various nodes which are communicating with each other so what i have done i have just created a rule i have just created a rule any node who is following the rules set by me can communicate and any node who is not following that particular rule will be will be not able to communicate means even though you are connected you cannot communicate because you are not following the rules are you getting my point so let's take some example and then you will be able to realize these things what exactly the meaning of rule so simply you how you can define simply how you can define a set of rule a set of rules so whenever you are saying the rules it, it is nothing but logic it is nothing but logic i will tell you why i am saying the terms logic over here so it is a set of rule followed by followed by each and every node each and every node every nodes nodes connected connected in in networks in networks okay so this is the set of rule followed by each and every node connected in network see whenever we are saying a term nodes so the node can be a like a forwarding device or node can be a computer so whenever you are saying a term node it can be anything it can be a forwarding device forwarding device forwarding device means means suppose this is a node and i am saying this is a forwarding device what does it mean? It basically means whenever the packet is reaching to this device, what it will do? It will simply forward the packet through the outgoing link, through the outgoing link. So suppose uh, from this device, there are three outgoing link. So depending upon some parameter written inside the packet, it will take a decision. It will take a decision from which interface this packet has to be forwarded. Are you getting my point? 
so how the device is taking a decision that is again a matter of discussion that i will discuss later on once you will be able to understand the like basic concept of the particular layers only in that situation you will be able to decide how a particular device is taking a decision from which interface or from which link the packet has to be forwarded are you getting my point or not so sometimes you say the uh, like device is a forwarding device but if it is a computer just imagine if it is a computer means this particular node is nothing but a computer will the computer forward the packet no it will accept the packet because this is the final destination so whenever we are using a term computer again it is a part of nodes it is a part of node but computer is not a forwarding device are you getting my point because just look at your system from which you are accessing the internet so whenever the packet will reach to your computer you will be able to see on the browser yes or no you will be able to see the data on the browser your computer is not going to forward the packet anywhere else because your computer is a final destination or it can be a source are you getting my point so whenever we are saying the terms node means the node could be anything either it can be a forwarding device so whenever we are saying the forwarding device inside the forwarding device we have a we have a hub switch switch and router router okay so later on i will tell you hub is a hub is a physical layer device physical layer device okay pl means physical layer device okay and switch is the data link layer device data link layer device and the router is the network layer device okay network layer device so if any device belonging to the data link layer how it will take a decision means means whenever we are saying the term forwarding device it basically means suppose you have implemented a device device and this is the switch this is nothing but a switch switch okay and there are four link connected through this switch just imagine okay so this is the in this is the port number one port number two port number three and port number four means from this switch there are four different ports and just imagine a packet is coming through the port number one through the port number one so this is the packet which is coming through the port number one now how the switch will take the decision from which port the packet has to be forwarded because whenever you are creating a packet whenever the packet is traveling into the network it is always for a particular destination it is always for a particular destination and the destination node could be either connected with the port number two or the port number three or the port number four so you have a two different option either forward this packet through all the outgoing port means simply broadcast it broadcasting means what is the meaning of broadcasting see always you have heard the term broadcasting like red fm so from the red fm there is a centralized point from where the voice is broadcasted means all the people which is accessing the fm can hear the voice from the hear the voice broadcasted from the central point so broadcasting means the packet is originated from a single point and it is going to the all people are you getting my point or not this is the basic definition of broadcasting always you used to hear in your day life yes or no so this particular device has a two different provision either it can forward the incoming packet through all outgoing link or what it can do it can it can read the packet and take the decision yes or no see see if your brain is empty if your brain is empty if, and any anyone is coming to you and there are three outgoing path from your side there are three outgoing path and your brain is empty and anyone is coming and asking you sir where uh, from which path should i should i travel to go for the dali means th that particular person wish to go to the dali and there are three outgoing path which is connected through your self one is going to the dali second one is going to the da kolkata and third one is going to the patna and he is asking to you so my dear friends if your brain is empty then you don't know don't know about it so what you will suggest that particular person which path is destined for the dali you don't know so what you will do sir i don't know what you can do what you can do you just create clone of yourself clone means copy of yourself 
and travel to each and every direction so if if reaching to the destination point it is a valley then stop over there or or kill yourself if you are reaching to the kolkata just kill yourself because you have created a clone of yourself are you getting my point or not so so in a real life you cannot create the clone of yourself but in a computer network what we, we can do ultimately it, it is the data now it is the data packet so we can create the clone of data packet or the copies of data packet so we have a two different options either either this packet will be forwarded through all the outgoing link or or if you are making this device a intelligence device so see whenever we are using a term intelligence device means you have some processing capability yes or no whenever we are using a term intelligence device means you have some intelligence to find out something and how can you find out whenever you will process something means suppose if this packet is reaching to this device and it has a processing capability so what this device will do it will read the content of the packet and will try to find out from which interface it has to be forwarded so from which parameter the device is able to take a decision all the things i will discuss later on just don't worry see in the data link layer the device basically take a decision on the basis of mac address on the basis of mac address 48 bit mac address so what if you are talking about the network layer the decision is taking on the basis of ip address so there are basically four kind of addressing mode to take the decision so whenever the packet is visiting to the switch and switch is the data link layer device and inside the data link layer we basically use the concept of mac address so definitely the device will take the decision on the basis of mac address so my dear friends if you are trying to identify the destination mac from the packet from the packet then what you have to do you have to read entire content of the packet yes or no if you want to identify the destination mac in that situation you have to read the entire content of the packet then only you can capture the destination mac address are you getting my point everyone so reading the entire content of the packet is nothing but is nothing but processing the packet yes or no whenever we are using a term processing what does it mean you are reading something you are reading something to identify something got it is that clear so definitely since the switch is the data link layer device and inside the data link layer we basically use the concept of the mac address so on the basis of destination mac address the switch will be able to decide from which outgoing link see see either you can say these are the outgoing interface or outgoing link from which outgoing link this packet has to be forwarded this decision is taken with the help of mac address similarly in the network layer this kind of decision is taken with the help of ip address so that i will discuss later on once i will uh, like uh, talk about the like uh, addressing mode there i will give you a, give you a brief description of this but exact feeling you will have whenever you will finish the data link layer and network layer how exactly the devices are taking a decision you can feel it once you will complete the data link layer and network layer because on the basis of ip address how the device is basically taking a decision there is a some calculation process and those calculation process you will be able to understand once you will finish the means once you you will have a better understanding of ip addressing subnetting finding the network id concept of network id subnet marks everything everything once you will know you will be able to uh, like uh, think about it how exactly the device are taking a decision to forward the packet so either the device could be a forwarding device or it could be a it could be a it could be a computer it could be a computer so once you you are saying the terms computer means this is the this is the end point this is the end point end point because once the packet will once the packet will reach to this computer it will no it will never go anywhere else once the packet will reach to this computer the packet is not going anywhere else because this is the end point this is the end point so this computer 
can be a sender or it can be a receiver. So either you can send the data or you can receive the data. So this is the final end point. Okay. It is means computer is not going to forward your packet. Either it can accept the packet or it can generate the packet. Yes or no? See, if you are uploading any file, any file in YouTube, means you are sending the data, you are sending the data from your computer. And if you are like watching any YouTube video, means you are the final destination for the YouTube. Got it, everyone. So the device could be a forwarding device or it could be a computer. So this is the first point that we have written. A set of rules or the logic followed by each and every node connected in the network. Okay. Now, now the second point is if any node, if any node not following that particular rule cannot communicate, even though they are connected, they cannot communicate. I will give you the example. Don't worry. Okay. So, so the second point that you can write any nodes, any node, any node which are not following the rule, not following the rule, the rule, okay, rules, cannot communicate, cannot communicate, even though, even though they are connected, even though they are connected, they are connected. I can give you the simple example can give you the simple example suppose there are two person me and Suzanne okay there are two person I know only Hindi and the Suzanne know only Tamil okay just try to imagine the situation there are two person who are in front of each other me and Suzanne I only know the Hindi and Suzanne only know the like uh, Tamil so even though we are connected with with each other can we communicate can we communicate? Can I share my feelings to him? No, no. Are you getting my point or not? So even though we are in front of each other, means we are connected, but I can speak only Hindi and the Suzanne can speak only Tamil. And I'm not able to understand his language and he is not able to understand my language also. So what we need? We need a translator in between me and Suzanne. We both need a translator in between us. So that whenever I am speaking in Hindi, the translator can translate into the Tamil and can send to the Suzan. And whenever the Suzan is saying something in Tamil, then that could be translated in Hindi and come, can come to me. So we have a two different option. Either, either we both have to learn the Hindi, yes or no. Then only we can communicate or we, I have to learn the Tamil, yes or no. Then only we can communicate. Or in between me and Suzan, we need a translator. So we have a three different option. Either I will learn Tamil or Suzan will learn Hindi or we will require a translator. Then only we can, we will be able to communicate. We will be able to communicate. Means connecting two nodes through the wire, okay, through the internet wire will not guarantee they can communicate. To establish the communication, you have to set a rules. You have to set the rules and that particular rule should be followed by both the communicating party means between me and Suzanne if I have set the rule means suppose I have created a network and I have set a rule if you want to communicate in the country India you have to know the Hindi then only you can communicate because all the people who are staying in this country knows only Hindi so if anyone visiting to this country they have to know the Hindi to communicate, to communicate. I have just set this rule. But if you have visited to my country and if you don't know the Hindi, so even though you are like traveling in, in, in this country, you cannot communicate with anyone else. You cannot communicate. So even though you are in India, you cannot communicate with anyone else. Clear? So this is the general example. Now with respect to the computer network, what exactly the meaning of this? Let's try to understand. Let's try to understand. Okay. Let's try to understand with respect to the computer network. With respect to the computer network. Okay. So see. See. Suppose. 
uh, suppose in in data link layer in data link layer we basically give a packet name as a frame okay in data link layer what we basically do we basically give the packet name packet name as a frame as a frame okay packet name packet name is given as frame is given as frame okay so just see over here see in different layer we basically assign the different name of packet there is a, there is a reason i will explain each and everything step by step so just don't worry right now see in data link layer we basically assign the packet name as a frame if you will talk about the network layer then we assign the packet name as a datagram and if you are talking about the transport layer we assign the packet name as a segment and in application layer you can say the masses or simply data or simply data so in different layer we basically assign the different name of packet there is a reason there is a reason so in the next lecture i will tell you the reason don't worry so suppose in a data link layer we have assigned the packet name as a frame the packet name as a frame so definitely if you are saying the terms packet if you are saying the terms packet then definitely the packet will be created the packet will be created or you can say the frame will be created so see in data link layer in data link layer you are creating a frame what we are doing we are creating creating a frame a frame okay so once you are creating a frame so what the frame will have what will be the inside the frame what will be the inside the frame see see in 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 computer science everything is represented in the form of binary every data can be represented in the form of binary so whenever you are creating a frame means inside this packet inside this packet there will be a sequence of bits there will be a sequence of bits yes or no there will be a sequence of bits so suppose you have a this much sequence of bits please try to understand you have a this much sequence of bits see from here to here these bits are representing first frame that is the frame number one from here to here these bits are representing the second frame this is the frame number two and from onwards these are representing the frame number three and so on so definitely some sequence of bits we are considering the frame number one some another sequence of bits we are considering the frame number two yes or no so what exactly we are doing we are marking the frame some sequence of bits we are referring as a frame number one then another some sequence of bits we are referring as a frame number two yes or no frame number two so these things are created at the center side so just think about the center side this is the center this is the center so from the s i am just representing a center now please tell me who will create the who will create the frame who will create the frame the sender yes or no if you are if if i wish to communicate with anyone else so definitely i will create the frame and and between me and receiver there should be a common logic there should be a common logic so if i am creating a frame with some logic then that logic should be known by the receiver also say if the sender is creating this frame with some logic that particular logic should be known by the receiver also only in that condition the receiver will be able to identify that this sequence of bits are representing a first frame are you able to feel this or not are you getting my point everyone what i am trying to say what i am trying to say suppose i have created i have created first frame from the sequence from the bits here to here so definitely if i am creating the first frame then definitely there there is a logic involved there is a logic involved definitely and while creating the second frame again the logic will get involved and from which logic from which logic i have created the frames that should be known by the receiver only in that condition the receiver is able to separate the individual frames yes or no just think about the situations okay uh, in this way i don't think you are able to feel it okay so just see over here we are considering this is the sender 
this is the sender and somewhere else this is the receiver okay and the sender and receiver are connected connected okay so if you are talking about this is the sender then definitely there will be a data link layer and there will be a physical layer physical layer and similar things will happen at the receiving end there will be a data link layer and there will be a physical layer okay there will be a physical layer see the creation of frame is basically done at the data link layer yes or no the frames are basically created where at the data link layer so suppose at the data link layer we have created the frames okay just try to imagine a situation at the data link layer we have just created these frames so definitely what will happen from the data link layer these frames will come to the physical layer yes or no all these frames will come to the physical layer so whenever you are creating a frame what the frame is containing the frame is nothing but a sequence of bits the frame is nothing but a sequence of bits so whenever these frames is coming to the physical layer so what is the responsibility of the physical layer so whatever the sequence of bits whatever the sequence of bits coming from the upper layer the physical layer simply convert it into the signal so there is a device involved in a physical layer suppose this is the device this is the device okay implemented in a physical layer so whenever this frame is coming to the physical layer then what the physical layer do will do 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 and 0 and so on suppose these are the sequence of bits coming from the data link layer then what the physical layer will do it will simply convert this sequence of bits this sequence of bits into signal into signal definitely this is going to be a digital signal this is going to be a digital signal so the basic responsibility of the physical layer is to convert the sequence of bits into a digital signal clear everyone because below the physical layer there is no other layer this is the last layer involved in a layer architecture this is the last layer involved in an entire layer architecture so once the sequence of bits will visit to the physical layer the physical layer will simply convert it into the signal why because after this layer there is a wire channel connected between sender and receiver and and through the wire only the signal can travel through the wire only the signal can travel so you you can create any kind of signal either you can create an analog signal or you can create a digital signal so we have just considered suppose it it is create it has converted into a digital signal so we don't need to bother about how the digital signal looks and what are the different types of digital signal we are not bothered about it because this kind of task is basically assigned to the electronics and communication branch they basically work how the signal travels over the network okay and like construction of this kind of device is basically the responsibility of the electronics and communication branch this is not a responsibility of computer science okay so just imagine this is converted into a digital signal so definitely these signals will travel through this link and after some time it will reach to the receiver it will reach to the receiver so first of all this packet will visit visit to the physical layer yes or no first of all this packet will visit to the means this signal will visit to the physical layer so definitely at the receiving end there will be also a device and what is the responsibility of this device the responsibility of this device is to convert means the signal is visiting and the responsibility of this device is to convert the signal into the binary sequence into the binary sequence yes or no into the binary sequence means the signal is visiting signal is visiting and this device is basically converting the signal into the binary sequence so at the sender side we are converting the binary sequence into the signal and at the receiving side we are converting the signal into the binary sequence clear so once once at the physical layer the signals will be converted into the binary se sequence what this physical layer will do what this physical layer will do its responsibility is over now this physical layer will simply will simply forward this binary sequence to the data link layer to the data link layer now now inside the data link layer inside the data link layer what you have to do suppose 
suppose you are here you are seated at the data link layer means just try to imagine yourself at the data link layer receiving signed of data link layer okay so once once just imagine i am at the data link layer and there is another person working under me so that particular person is sending the sequence of bits to me so what should be my responsibility what should be the my what should be the my responsibility to to just convert this sequence of bits into the frame means to identify from from where to where sequence of bits is representing first frame yes or no so what is the responsibility of of data link layer of receiving side to find out from where to where sequence of bits are representing the first frame and then from where to where sequence of bits are representing the second frame and so on means ultimately ultimately in the data link layer what exactly we are doing we are separating the frames from the incoming sequence of bits we are separating the individual frames yes or no so here at the re receiving end what it is doing it is basically separating or in other words you are you can say distinguish distinguish individual frames in the visual frames individual frames from from incoming incoming sequence of bits incoming sequence of bits sequence of bits so whatever the sequence of bits is transferring from the physical layer to data link layer the basic responsibility of the data link layer is to identify the individual frames so definitely definitely from the sequence of bits which is coming from the physical layer directly you cannot think about it from where to where the sequence of bits are representing the first frame and then from where to where the sequence of bits are representing the second frame you can directly you cannot identify it until and unless the sender has put some logic has put some logic and that logic should be known by the receiver yes or no yes or no suppose suppose just try to imagine a real life situation suppose i have sent i have sent means i am a sender suzan is a receiver so i have simply sent like a 1000 1000 biscuit parleji biscuit just think about i have just a uh, means uh, i have just opened the cover of the parleji biscuit and i have sent to you 1000 parleji biscuit then how can you identify means means in my end i have just assumed that fr fr starting from the starting only 20 biscuits are representing the first packet or the 10 biscuit is representing the first packet those things i have considered starting 10 biscuits will represent the first packet means you have to you have to just keep it into the means into the envelope or into the like plastic to represent it a particular packet to sell before selling okay before selling you have to keep 10 biscuits inside the inside the what inside the plastic and you have to pack it completely before selling it so at the sender side it has assumed that the 10 biscuit will represent one packet one packet but whenever you are sending it what you are doing you are just wrapping up the packets and you are sending the biscuits only so once the thousand biscuits one by one will be received by the receiver so how the receiver or you will be able to identify from where to where the biscuits are representing the first packet definitely if you have a information about it that starting 10 or only starting 10 biscuits will represent the first packet then only you will be able to wrap it up yes or no you will be able to wrap it up otherwise you cannot do anything either you can wrap up 15 biscuit in a packet or you can wrap up 20 biscuit in a packet or you can wrap up 1000 biscuit in a packet until and unless you will get some idea you cannot find it out you cannot find it out the similar thing basically happen over here so until and unless the sender will put some logic inside this frame the receiver is not able to separate the frame 
the receiver is not able to separate the frame and that is that logic is nothing but that logic is nothing but a protocols implemented in this situation this is nothing but the protocol implemented in this particular situation so what you can say about it say what we can say about it say until and unless until and unless the sender sender will put some logic put some logic inside inside creating frame creating frames the receiver receiver cannot separate separate individual frames in the visual frames individual frames either you can say the term separate or you can say the terms distinct simply in computer network once you will read the book there is a term written distinct case okay so you cannot separate or distinguish the individual frame so whenever whenever the sender is implementing a logic whenever the sender is implementing a logic this particular logic should be known by the receiver this particular logic okay should be known by the receiver so this is the first point and the second point is the same logic the same logic by which by which sender is creating a frame sender is creating creating a a frame okay a frame you just keep it inside the bracket okay the same logic same logic by which the sender is creating a frame okay by which the sender is creating a frame should be known by should be should be known by known by receiver should be known by receiver okay so this logic this logic is nothing but you can say this logic you can say nothing but a protocol protocol or you can say the so see if you are implementing any logic then you will require some additional uh, information inside the packet you need to introduce some additional information inside the packet see suppose if you want to send a hand watch just try to imagine a situation you want to send or gift a hand watch to your friends to your friends sitting somewhere else you are at kolkata your friend friend is, is staying at the computer and you want to gift a hand watch then definitely the hand watch can never never travel alone into the network so definitely what you will do you will you will like uh, pack it inside a box and definitely upper the box you will write address address of your friends and address of yourself so definitely you require some additional things to send that particular hand watch because the hand watch can never travel alone into the network you require some additional stuff you require some additional stuff or you can say the additional information so whenever we are implementing a logic whenever the sender is implementing a logic means the sender has to put some additional information yes or no if the sender is implementing a logic it has to put some additional information and those informations can be can be implemented in the form of what what because in a medium only you can send a binary sequence in a medium inside the medium only the binary sequence in the form of signals can travel so whenever you are introducing any informations or the logic inside the packet then you have to put that logic in the form of 0 and 1 in the form of 0 and 1 because you have no other things to implement are you getting my point or not because inside the packet there is a sequence of bits there is a sequence of bits that is 0 or 1 the bits sequence of bits are basically formed with the 0 and 1 so whatever the logic you are going to implement it should be implemented in the form of 0 and 1 
you don't have any other option any other option so whenever i will discuss any kind of protocol those protocol will be implemented in the form of zero and one so those log to implement those logic we need to introduce some additional bits to implement any kind of logic we need to introduce some additional bits apart from the communicating bits yes or no apart from the communicating bits you need to implement some additional bits to just implement your logic are you getting my point or not see communicating bits mean what suppose you are sending a you are sending a hand watch then you know the hand watch cannot send alone into the network means if you are only going to the post post office and you are just keeping the hand watch and you are thinking this hand watch will reach to your friends is it possible no no you have to also provide some additional information to the post office are you getting my point so and an hand watch is nothing but the actual data which you want to send but whatever the additional information you are giving apart from the hand watch those are the supporting data which will support to deliver your hand watch from one point to the another point so inside any packets there are two parts inside any packet there are two two parts one is one is the actual communicating data and the second one is the supporting data second one is the supporting data so see see inside inside i will come back to this point inside any packet inside any packet suppose this is the packet this is the packet this is the packet so inside any packet there are two things two things one is called communicating data communicating data by which you wish to communicate suppose you are sending an image file so image file is nothing but a communicating data which you, you want to send but as we know the image file cannot travel alone into the network so definitely it, it requires some additional data or you can say the supporting data which is which is called the header in computer network which is called the header so header is nothing but a supporting data this is nothing but a supporting supporting or you can say additional data additional data data okay implement it implemented with some logic implemented with some logic okay so inside the packet there are basically two part one is the header and second one is the simply data you can say data you can say so whenever you are saying that simply data so you can say communicating data or you can say the information data communicating or you can say the information data and the second part is header 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 so simple meaning of the header is the supporting data means since the communicating data cannot travel alone so it requires some additional bits it requires some additional bits and those bits should be implemented with some logic with some logic and that is called the supporting or the additional data implemented with some logic okay and this logic this logic this logic should be known by each and every node each and every node in the network okay so this logic this logic should be should be known by known by every node inside the network known by every nodes inside inside network then only they can communicate then only they can communicate okay and this logic is nothing but the protocol this logic is nothing but the protocol okay means the protocols are basically implemented in the form of header so in short what you can say in short you can say protocols are implemented in the form of form of header in the form of header 
okay in a simple word you can say this in the form of okay so this is the basic meaning of packet this is the basic meaning of packet so packet have a two different part one is the header second one is the data so inside the header means header basically means this is the supporting or the additional data which is implemented to make the packet travel into the network okay and and whenever you are introducing some additional bits there should be a logic and those logic is nothing but a protocol is nothing but a protocol means simply you can say the protocol is basically implemented inside the header the protocols basically implemented inside the header okay now let's come come back okay let's come back so what i have told you until and unless the sender will put some logic inside inside creating frame the receiver cannot separate or the distinguish individual frame the second point i have read written the same logic should be known by the receiver and what is that particular logic what is that particular logic please try to understand what is that particular logic please try to understand so see see whenever the sender is creating a frame whenever sender is creating a frame so just uh, don't think about the sender suppose i have i have keep you inside the data link layer suppose just imagine yourself at the data link layer and you are a responsible person to implement a logic just try to imagine a situation you are a responsible person to just implement a logic so make sure whenever you are implementing a logic you have a only binary sequence 0 and 1 so whatever the logic you wish to implement either either you can use 0 or you can use 1 you don't have anything else means you cannot color something you cannot color something are you getting my point or not you cannot color something got it or you cannot put anything else over there like you, you have put like uh, uh, what i can say you have just put one point at the beginning one point at the ending you cannot do that you cannot do that suppose what what i am trying to say please try to understand the, please try to imagine the actual scenario suppose suppose there is a large stick stick means stick means lakdi ke jo stick hote theek hai na there is a large stick large stick okay and and i am just implementing a logic in every 1 meter in every 1 meter 1 meter of distance it will represent a first stick so how you can do that suppose the size of the actual stick is 10 meter and if you want to indicate indicate you just separate the stick into the 1 1 meter form so what you can do what you can do at every 1 meter at every at every 1 meter you can just point it out you can just point it out yes or no at every 1 meter we can just color it so that the receiver can get some logic the receiver can get some logic okay so in the stick at every 1 meter what we have done we have just color it so what how the receiver will think or if i have sent a large stick to suzan so how the suzan will think the suzan will see the first color and whenever the same color will appear the suzan will be able to identify this is representing the stick number one stick number one so again the suzan will start from here and whenever the same color is hitting the suzan will be able to think this is the stick number two and similarly it will goes on this is the stick number three and so on so with the help of this color the suzan is able to identify this is representing the first stick this is representing the second stick this is representing the third stick but if if i have sent the stick without any logic i have sent the large stick without any logic can suzan identify from where to where part of a stick is representing the first stick from where to where part of the actual stick is representing the first stick he cannot identify it until and unless i will put this logic in the form of color the suzan is not able to identify anything because suzan do not have any like that kind of things meter to measure okay like uh, meter means you know na, like uh, what i can say you can understand my feeling okay the meter from which you basically measure anything okay meter wire uh, wire not uh, wire uh, meter tap you can say meter tap from which you basically measure the things you don't have th that kind of provision the same thing is happening over here so whatever the logic you are going to implement you can means in the real life scenario we can color something we can color something 
but in case of computer network you cannot do that kind of things you cannot make the color at the beginning and the ending are you getting my point so whatever the logic you are going to implement you have only zero and one so let's see how we are implementing the logic okay so see what i am doing what i am doing at the beginning and the ending of data at the beginning and ending of data we are introducing a spatial bit sequence a spatial bits sequence okay sequence at the beginning and the ending of data so suppose this is the data data means this is the information bits information bits from which we want to communicate this is the information bits or you can say the data from which we wish to want we want to communicate so at the beginning and the ending of data we are introducing some special bit pattern like say 0 followed by 4 number of 1 again 0 followed by 4 number of 1 so whenever you are saying this is the data again if it is a data it will have a uh, data sequence and the data sequence in the form of what in the form of binary like suppose the data sequence is given as 1000111111101 and so on 001 like this so suppose inside the data sequence this is the data this is the data so to represent to represent this is the frame number one this is the frame number one what i have done what i have done i have just implemented special bit sequence at the beginning and the ending of so what are the challenges if you are doing these things that i will discuss later on please try to understand these things only okay so what are the challenges you you are going to face whenever you will implement this binary or this spatial sequence at the beginning and ending of frame okay so what i have done over here we have introduced the spatial bit pattern bit pattern at the beginning and the ending of frame so what will happen if you are going to do this so definitely what the receiver will do what the re receiver will do the receiver will search for the spatial bit sequence at the beginning once it is identified all the remaining bits will be considered as data and once again the same bit sequence will hit the receiver will be able to think okay this is the first frame this is the first frame means what the receiver is exactly doing it is searching for the spatial bit sequence zero followed by four ones and and after that whatever the bit sequence is receiving it is considered as data and once again if the same bit sequence will be hit the receiver will immediately think this is the first frame this is the first frame again again for the next frame again for the next frame the same thing will happen again for the next frame the same thing will happen suppose this is the frame number two so again the same thing will happen at the beginning we are going to introduce zero followed by four one at the end zero followed by four one so again the receiver will search for the special bit sequence and whenever the same special bit sequence will hit it will consider as frame number okay so so whatever the special bit sequence implemented means this particular special bit sequence is implemented by which implemented by sender implemented by sender so my dear friends if this special bit sequence is not known by the receiver can receiver identify the first frame second frame or third frame no no so whatever the special bit sequence the sender is introducing it has to be known by receiver only then only then the receiver will able to find out the logic to separate the frames so this is implemented by the sender and and should be known by should be known by receiver receiver to separate to separate okay so this is the simple logic we have introduced what is the logic introduce what is the logic we have implemented over here we have implemented the simple logic okay introduce introduce spatial 
bit sequence bit special bit sequence in computer network we called it as a flag we called it as a flag this is special bit sequence this is special bit sequence is called as a flag in a computer network so what we are what logic we are introducing introduce a special bit sequence that is nothing but a flag which is zero followed by four number of ones at the beginning and ending of print at the beginning beginning and ending of ending of data frame you can say data yes or no so the logic that you have introduces you have you have just taken some bits some sequence of bits means whatever the logic we are introducing we require some bits we require some bits so tell me tell me is it a communicating bits no it is a helping bits or you can say this is the supporting bits nothing else this is not a part of communication this is the just a supporting bits which is introduced inside the frame which is introduced inside the data frame are you getting my point so definitely this supporting bits will be a part of header this supporting bits will be a part of header because any supporting bits is always a part of header so here we have simply implemented a simple logic a simple logic so whenever you are implementing a logic you have to introduce some bits you have to introduce some bits and those bits will be implemented will be implemented inside the header of header of inside the header of now tell me are you really enjoying the things what exactly the meaning of protocols and the packet everyone the response should come from your side okay are you really enjoying the things by visualizing what exactly the meaning of protocols as well as packet Susan, uh, Susan Kumar, Susan, that is the matter of discussion. Once I will start framing protocol. See, this protocol has given a name. See, in data link layer, in data link layer, we basically give the name of this logic. That is called, that is called framing protocol. Framing protocol. So this is the first topic that we have to learn in a data link layer, which is called framing protocol. Framing protocol. As the name indicate, framing. Framing means creation of frame. So, so framing protocol means for creating a frame, we are implementing a protocol. We are implementing a logic. So, we basically assign a name of this protocol, which is called the framing protocol. So, framing means creation of frame. So, for creating a frame, we are basically giving a logic. Protocol is nothing but a logic. Got it, everyone. Is that clear? So once I will start the framing protocol from the beginning, I will give you the entire explanation. Why we are considering 5 bit? Can we consider 6 bit? What will happen if you will consider 32 bit of flag? What will happen if you will consider the 2 bit of flag? Everything I will discuss in details. So just don't worry. For the time being, just don't worry. I will discuss each and everything in detail. Once I will start the framing protocol. Is that clear? Suzanne. Okay. So, let's take some another example. See, let's take some another example. Very basic example. Suppose, suppose uh, there is a sender, there is a sender and there is a receiver. Okay. And the sender and receiver are connected through this link. Through this link. Okay. This is the sender and this is the receiver. Okay. And, and the medium through which the sender and receiver are connected. Can we say this is the reliable medium? Can we, can you say this is the reliable medium? What is the meaning of reliable? See, this is the basic English term. This is the basic English term. What is the meaning of reliable? Please try to understand. Means, means suppose if you are traveling through any roadways, if you are traveling through any roadways, can you assured this is the reliable roadways? Reliable roadways means if you are passing through this roadways, 
you will never be a part of accidental you will never be a part of accident can you guarantee it no no if you are not able to guarantee it then how you can say this roadways is reliable so whenever we are saying the roadways is reliable means no accident can happen in this roadways but if you are saying the roadways is unreliable it means there is a possibility of accident inside the roadways or something else if the accident is not happening then suppose like uh, uh, what i can say suppose what i can say suppose uh, someone has just suit you someone has suit you means through the outer hurdles outer hurdles you you are not able to reach to the destination or due to some raining you are not able to reach to the destination because whenever the raining will happen you will take some like corner you will take some corner for some time and in that situation you are not able to reach to the destination or suppose suppose take another example meaning of reliability suppose uh, there is a ram ram murari take a random name okay there is a ram murari and i am saying i am saying he is a reliable person it basically means if i am giving 5000 to the ram murari to send it to my mother then i have a complete faith that that particular 5000 will reach to my mother hand but if i am saying the ram murari is not reliable what does it mean if i am giving 5000 to the ram murari then i cannot guarantee it that exactly 5000 he will deliver to my mother there is a various possibility either the ram murari will spend 100 rupees to have some food in between the network or he can keep he can keep 500 rupees in his pocket and he will pass 4500 rupees to my mother in that situation i can say the ram murari is not reliable so in general if you are talking about the roadways just try to think about it the roadways is never reliable okay so just take a situation say between sender and receiver this is the this is the link link or you can say medium or you can say channel whatever you can say or you can say channel so this particular link is basically a unreliable link un reliable link okay unreliable means on which on which we can't touch we can't touch okay the simple meaning once you will find in dictionary the simple meaning is given as on which we can't trust okay now so if the medium is unreliable means we cannot trust over the medium what does it mean what does it mean see if the sender is sending a data data suppose the sender is sending a data 1101 okay just take a simple data see sender is sender wish to send the data 1101 1101 this is the data the sender wish to send and the medium is unreliable means there is a chance that some bit will get modified so since the medium is unreliable medium is unreliable the received data is nothing but 1001 1001 1. means means this particular bit this particular bit is modified modified due to due to in link in link or you can say medium so since the medium is unreliable means there is a possibility that some bit can modify yes or no so the meaning of unreliability in this sense is if you are sending some bits you cannot guarantee exactly same sequence of bits will be received to the receiving end some bits can be modified and we have taken an example that this particular bit has been modified so my dear friends just try to imagine a situation suppose you are you are seated over here you are seated over here can you identify which bit has been changed can you suppose you are in the receiving end and you have received this particular bit sequence 1001 can you identify which bit has been changed until and unless the sender will put some logic inside the data 
Tell me, everyone. Suppose, suppose I have sent you 5,000 rupees. I have sent 5,000 rupees to Suzay. And Suzay has received 4,500. Then how the Suzay will identify whether, whether, whether the sir has sent me 5,000 or exactly 4,500. How you can identify? How you can identify? Until and unless, my dear friend, I will put some logic along with the money. You cannot find it out. Yes or no? So suppose how I am introducing a logic along with the money 5000 I have taken a blank paper and I have written 5000 date and my signature and that particular paper I have just kept inside the money. So whenever you are receiving a money first of all what you will do you will check that particular paper that particular paper what is the money exactly sent by the sir. So, first of all, you will check what is the money written over the paper. It is 5,000, then you will start counting the money. So, if it is a 5,000, all is fine. But if it is less than or more than 500, means, means something happens, something happens in between the path. Something happened in between the path. And you don't know what exactly happened in, in between the path. Yes or no? You don't know. And you don't need to know also. You don't need to know also. Are you getting my point or not? So along with the money, what I have done? I have introduced some additional information. Along with the money, I have just introduced some additional information. With some logic. So that you can identify what exact amount I have sent to you. So of course, if you are sending the money alone, the receiver cannot identify. Means, if, if the sender is sending the data alone into the network, the receiver can't detect the error. The receiver can't identify which bit has been modified. So, modification of bits means what? There is an error. In a simple language, you can say there is an error. Yes or no? There is an error inside the data. Are you getting my point? So, modification bit is basically represent the error inside the data. So, until and unless the sender will put some additional information along with the data, the receiver cannot identify the error. So, so along with the data, along with the data, the sender has to put additional bits. Additional bits. So, my dear friends, whenever you are implementing the additional bits, you cannot choose it randomly. If you are implementing the additional bits, you cannot choose it randomly like 1101. Just take additional bits. Whatever the additional bits you are choosing, it should have some logic. It should have some logic. Because in computer science, nothing can happen without logic. Yes or no? Everyone, in computer science, nothing can happen without logic. And I will prove it. Don't worry. Once I will start error control protocol, I will prove it. Don't worry. Okay. So, so along with the data, the sender will put some additional bits with some logic. With some logic. And this particular logic, whatever the logic it is introducing, this logic should be, should be known by, known by receiver. Only in that condition, the receiver will be able to identify error inside the data. Error inside the data. Clear everyone? Just tell me. Clear? So, you cannot send the data if you want to identify the error inside the data. So, you have to put some additional bits. So, my dear friends, whenever, whenever we are introducing some additional bits, so this one will become part of what? Header. And logic is nothing but a protocol protocol and this kind of protocol is called is called error control protocol error control protocol again again try to understand the naming convention naming convention why i have introduced the name error control protocol now you are able to feel it the naming convention error control protocol yes or no if i am sending a data there is a chance that some bit will get modified means simply you can say there is the error inside the data so whenever we are sending a data definitely there is a chances 
of error inside the data then how to control that error that is that is called the error control protocol and for this reason we basically give the different different logic different different logic so inside the error control protocol we have a various mechanism we have a various mechanism simple parity check 2d parity check crc check sum these are the error control protocols so why we are assigning a name error control protocol now i think you are able to feel it yes or no everyone just say by heart are you able to feel it or not be communicative guys if you are learning be interactive tell me honestly are you really enjoying or feeling this subject or not everything naming convention meaning of protocols the meaning of logic everything So that's all about the packets and protocol. Now I hope you are not going to forget about the protocols. What exactly the meaning of protocols inside the computer network? And whenever we are using a term packet, there are, there are two parts inside the packet: header and data. Data. Whenever we are using a term data, means it is the actual communicating data, like sending a file, sending a file, image file, video file, or text message. Okay, these are the actual data. and header as the name implies header okay header means some additional part has introduced some additional part has introduced which which will help to carry this particular data and whenever you are introducing the header header all the protocols are implemented inside the header and whenever you are implementing a protocol it should have some logic it should have some logic so from tomorrow i will just uh, explain you like the basic concept of the like computer network from the tomorrow i will start the basic concept of the computer network like layer architecture okay and uh, addressing modes so these are the basic things type of communication okay network topology these are the basic things that i will discuss first of all and then we will start from the data link layer so what i will suggest what i will suggest go and read the starting two chapter of forozen forozen i hope everyone has a book forozen if you don't have you just tell me i will send you the soft copy of forozen book okay and what is your responsibility till tomorrow read starting two chapter of forozen that's all because in the starting two chapter the basic introduction of computer network has given and that things i will discuss in the next two days means tomorrow and day after tomorrow i will just discuss the basic introduction of computer network but before discussing it what i want you just go and read the starting two chapter only read it might be possible you will be able to understand only 20% part or only 30% part not to bother about it just go and read it then one once i will exp, i will start explaining each and everything the things will the things will that you will be able to visualize the things will be look like that you are feeling it got it everyone so please study starting two chapter of forozen if you don't have a book hard copy or soft copy you can take from my side okay so definitely i will share to you suzan uh i also exactly don't know so definitely in the global channel i will try my best once i will complete the computer network definitely i will try to start the toc not to worry about it okay those student who are accessing the like vod or gd course already already i have given the recorded form of english recording of toc so you are going to have a like a english content of toc in a gd pd or tablet form 
those who are like uh, buying the tablet or the GD or PD course, even in subject wise course, it will be available from the June onwards. Okay. So let me finish first of all this subject and once I will finish it, definitely I will start the TOC in English. Don't worry. On the same channel. Okay. So that's all for the today. Again, again, before leaving this class, I will tell you one thing. Never forget to hit the like button and put your valuable comments. Valuable means put your comments. Whatever you are feeling about the session. Just put it in the comment box. My dear friends, your one comment will inspire many students. So, once the student will get inspiration, the crowd will happen. And that's a real maja in life. Okay, maja means enjoyment in life. So, once the crowd will be there, the competition will be high. And you will be able to, definitely you will be able to enjoy the subject. Once the crowd will be there, you and me, everyone will enjoy the subject okay so put your comments whatever you are feeling about the session and inspire the other and help them to select the right channel and the right educators for the subject okay so thank you very much bye everyone see you again tomorrow sharp at 7 pm so bye jai hind Thank you.